Hey friend, we need to talk. I get it, you're so excited about your newfound hustle and potential side business selling. Well, something really cool. So you want everyone in the world to know about it and you know just where to find everyone in the world. Facebook. So many friends and acquaintances, some people you've never even met before, they are the perfect test group. So you post a status update on your profile waiting for the likes, loves, and comments to roll in and they do. But wait, no sales? How do you get your friends to take your hustle more seriously since another status update on your profile in half an hour might come off a little weird? Oh, that's right, a Facebook group. You can add any of your friends to a Facebook group about anything at any time for any reason whatsoever. <laughs> so you do, you add your friends, family, people you went to high school with who weren't cool enough to sit with you, even your ex's friends who you haven't unfriended yet, all into your new Facebook group. You announce your excitement for having them all there in this intimate atmosphere of constant updates about something they can buy or support because you want them to, because notifications are automatic. But here's the thing. Not only are you violating Facebook terms of service for starting a business in a group instead of a brand page, you're shaming your friends and family with technology that is going to track whether they see, leave, get notified, or care at all about your new baby when they never asked for updates at all. Some of them might decide to leave the group and you're gonna take that personally and they're not even gonna remember why you're mad at them next time they see you at the reunion. And that's awkward, more awkward than it should be. Or worse, they wanna support you so they stay in the group, but they turn off notifications, mute you on their newsfeed and try to pretend like it never happened. Not good for business, not good for community, not good for social media. See, what you're doing is just not the right way to go. Facebook groups are communities of people who come together over a common interest because they decided to join. Word of mouth would have been fine if you posted it on your personal profile, letting them know that they could join, but instead you dragged them in by the hair kicking and screaming, or at least that's how it felt when they logged into their account, checked their notifications to find out that you so boldly added them to your Facebook group. But there's good news here. They still want to be your Facebook friend. They may even care about your new passion. But please, stop adding people to your Facebook group who did not ask to be there. You'll be making the world a much better place with more likes. Thank you. That wasn't a first-hand account or anything. That's all for today, socials. Thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate it as always. Thumbs up if you wanna see more of these. And of course, share this video if you know someone who needs a little talking to about the Facebook groups. Let them know this was all in good fun, but no really though, right? <laughs> Subscribe for good vibes and I'll see you on the next video. Until then, cheers. But please. Stop adding people to your Facebook group who didn't ask to be there. Lucy, the snoring is getting a little escalated. Hey, no more snoring. Thanks.